Aha, you're here. Nice to meet you. Come closer and I'll take you through the basics. Not many sports model their ball after a mouldy apple. Bravo, Sir Ian Tennis. Welcome to Taskmaster. You will be taking on a series of extraordinary challenges. And after each one, Greg Davis, the eponymous Taskmaster, will give you a score out of five. I'm little Alex Horn, the Taskmaster's assistant. I'm here to advise and observe you. The Taskmaster will be ruthlessly scrutinising your performance, so you should use everything at your disposal and think outside the box if you want to avoid his razor-sharp mockery. You were handed your Taskmaster survival guide on arrival. It's yours to keep and it lets you dictate your preferences. Press the menu button to take a look now. While we're waiting for the studio to be ready, let's do a practice task. You must not interact with anything other than the task card until you've had a proper read through and then dropped it. Otherwise, you might ruin my perfectly constructed designs. So pick up the task card, take your time reading it, and please drop the task card to start the task. OK, off you go. As this is just a practice task, I'm going to be fairly generous with the timer. 59 minutes ought to do it. You can also check remaining task time on your wristwatch to save any unnecessary wear and tear on the old sternocleidomastoid. Just to be clear, by red circle, we're referring to the marked area on the ground. Practice task complete. Well done. OK, they're ready for you in the studio right now. Press the buzzer on the plinth to open the door, then make your way through. If a task has a buzzer, you can press it to end the task early. Welcome to the corkboard quarters. This is where you can choose which activity you want to embark upon. But no time to lose now. We've got a show to get on with. You'll be back here later. Make your way into the studio. I will request the taskmaster's presence and we'll meet you there. I'm Greg Davis. Welcome to Taskmaster, where tasks must be completed, otherwise I get very grumpy indeed. And you're the one charged with jumping through hoops on my behalf. Points are available based on your performance, and nothing shy of a perfect score will allow you to fondle this, my resplendent metal face. And all the while, sitting to my left, is a man who will wipe away any sweat that might accrue on my magnificent brow. It's... A little Alex Horn! Thank you. I'm the Taskmaster's assistant. I will be present for all tasks, taking measurements and doing admin, scattergrams, pie charts, all the fun stuff. I also provide sparkling banter at the top of each episode. Do you want to do the banter now, Taskmaster, for the banter section? Do I want to? No, I do not. Are you sure? I've got some quality cheeky bant ready to whip out. Ah, <sighs> go on then. Well, you've already had it. That was, that was the banter, when I said cheeky bants, like a youth. Hilarious. Well done. Never talk again. Enough nonsense talking. More tasks. And now a task where I get to be pampered for a change.
Remember, the task will not start until you pick up both spatulas. Hmm. I think I will have. Oh, I really fancy a... Hmm, I think I will have. Oh, I really fancy a... Oh, thank you. Mm, it's good. Thank you.
You know, when the Earl of Sandwich first invented the sandwich back in 16... Uh, 1762. 1762, thank you, you irritating little nerd. When the Earl of Sandwich invented the sandwich back in 1762, I doubt he comprehended the impact his bready creation would reap upon the world, and ultimately, you, Alex. I will say, normally when Alex has to eat things in these tasks, I'm relieved that it's not me doing it, but I'm genuinely irritated that I didn't get any of that delicious sandwich. Considering the ingredients, it was very enjoyable. OK, how many points for a long-distance sandwich? It's absolutely bang on. Can't fault it. Five points. OK, what's next? Time for the next task. Away we go. Hello. I've started the timer. Have a good look around for clues to escape and don't be afraid to get messy. The Taskmaster's second favourite fruit after pineapple. Do not eat any of the watermelon.
made it out. Well done. Now, just find the dog food and the bowl and pop one in the other. You have 10 minutes remaining. Ducks, always ducks. Ah, there's the dog food. I've stopped the clock. Pretty impressive run, right? Yes. Not the fastest, but they had a good stab at it. Excellent. What is Taskmaster, if not a series of mediocre performances, cast away into the wind? Big old mess at the end, which is what I like to see. It was as if a very large man had exploded. Yes, they smashed the vast majority of the watermelons. There didn't appear to be any particular method to it. Good. That's what I like to hear. You see a field of watermelons and you just get straight to work smashing them up. Shall we score it? This is easy, right? They either found the dog food or they didn't. Five points. Five full points for finding the dog food. <laughs> That's the location tasks out of the way. And now, as is tradition, we do another task right here in front of a clammy, clambering audience. So please, head to the stage for the final task of the show. Functionally, a studio task is identical to a house-based one. Read and understand the task on the card. Drop the card. Do the task. Good luck. This looks like a rip-roaring roller coaster of a task, Alex. Melons and Skittles. Woo! 
feel the rush. A skittle, of course, is British for bowling pin. So, you need to throw the melons down onto that red circle down there. Once you've thrown all ten melons, it's game over, OK? <laughs> oh, they're shooting hard and fast. Oof, right <laughs> on the skittle. You like your messy tasks, don't you, Alex? Yes, I'm a mucky little pup. Oh dear, more melon for me to clean up. Oh, they're <laughs> shooting hard and fast. Seven melons. I can't believe how genuinely tense this is. That turntable is proving tricky to hit. Alex, I'm surprised you didn't try a sneaky little trick like painting a bowling ball to look like a watermelon or something. I tried that, but the finger holes gave it away. Ah, that's a shame. Right, join us down here for the score. Phew, that was tense, eh? I don't see a huge amount of melon on the red. No, the melons remain mostly not on the red. Tut tut, extremely displeasing. So, how do you want to score this, Greg? There was barely enough for a fruit salad. One point. <laughs> My short-term memory and rudimentary math skills are completely shot these days. So, Alex, where are we with the episode score? Greg's legs, 11. We've learned that if you want to find out the true measure of a person, hide a can of dog food into a watermelon and just let them go to town on it. Thank you for playing and goodbye.